What's up, beautiful people? Today we want to look at something very, very nasty. So this uh, guitar is my Siggy Brown Custom Shop guitar and it has some issues with a bridge. So this is a wraparound bridge, stop tail wraparound bridge. Um, and you, as you can see here, it has uh, lost some of its coating. So it's uh, chrome on aluminum and uh, the chrome uh, stopped to... It doesn't want to stick anymore to this uh, beautiful, lovely aluminum bridge. So um, <clears throat> I um, issued that uh, with, the, with the manufacturer. I um, gave uh, Siggy a call and he said, well, let's look it up. Perhaps there is some replacement, some warranty. And uh, he referred me to a guy from ABM Guitar Parts in Berlin, which is the original manufacturer of uh, this wraparound bridge. And lucky me, I got a replacement. So this is the replacement. As you can see, passion and precision. Uh, ABM guitar parts from Berlin in Germany. So right, let's unwrap this. Uh, it's the ABM 3022C and it's a wraparound. And the big difference between the original bridge, which was aluminum under the chrome part, under the chrome coating, um, is this is a brass one. So the replacement is should be more stable, so there shouldn't be any issues with the uh, chrome, with the chrome, with the chrome, with the chrome anymore. Hope so. Let's unbox this little thing. So <clears throat> comes in a neat little box with some. Okay, so this is the. This is the bridge replacement. Have a look. It looks quite neat. I need some need some cutter. Those are the nuts which will be or the bolts which will be inserted into the guitar. As far as I can see by now, there are some differences. I'll show you later. And those are the screws and the little hex wrench. So let's uh, first remove the old bridge from the guitar and then later on apply the new. So what we have to do is uh, loosen the strings a bit. Yep. And then I will be right there quite. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. Yep. Yeah, it does gent, so that's cool. Um, so just loosen the strings a bit, that I will be able to cut them off because it's the fastest way to remove strings. It's uh, because it's a wraparound. It's tedious to wrap it through. So what we do now is just. Cut the wires here, and here, and here, and this one, and the H string, B string, and the E string here. And so we can now remove this little sucker. And as you can see, this is really nasty, comes off. So, but we won't throw it away. Perhaps we can reuse this. Oh, this is very, very light. It's aluminum. Uh, perhaps we can uh, refurbish it later on for another project. So, and what I want to try now is to get rid of these screws. Um, what you should do is use a screwdriver with a very wide blade so that you don't um, do not. Oh, it's it's just loosely screwed in, so no worries there. So remove this screw. Right, you can see it 
wasn't quite, oops, you can see it, it wasn't quite affected that much. Perhaps this is not, no, from the weight it's not aluminum. Um, remove the second. Oh yeah, and now you can see here the chrome stuff is uh, just uh, <clears throat> falling apart. So perhaps it's a good time to clean it up a bit. So just take the chrome parts and remove them. And perhaps we can apply some, that's a good idea, perhaps we can apply some love. Do you love the finish? Leave a comment if you love the finish. So we just need a little, little something and then we could apply perhaps some polish and uh, cleaner as well. I just need to get some cloth. So this is a chance as well because we can uh, try to remove this uh, dirt, the stains from underneath. We'll just readjust the camera a bit. Perhaps I can yeah, just uh, take some cleaner here. I've got an old cloth. It's from an old uh, blanket. So I just apply some cleaner here. Let's just remove the dirt here. So I hope you stay at home, folks. Um, yeah, stay home, stay safe. That's the call of the of the time. So here we go. So that looks looks better. Wasn't so dirty after all, but now you can. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing to polish or to clean up on the under the bridge. All right, so okay, this was the first step. Oops, and now we unbox this replacement stuff. I just need some. Put up, put up. Just can open it up. This is, yeah, this can be opened up. Opened up. So I won't remove the um, this uh, thing inside because um, I don't think I can get it back in. So get those two screws, those holders. And I can show you a difference. If I take the old one, perhaps you can see it. Yep. So this is a, it's a flat hat and this is a bit curved and it could be that it could uh, suit my hands a little bit more because it doesn't have those rough edges. It's a bit smoother perhaps. We'll, we'll figure it out. So the next step is to unpack this one here. Just take a little cutting knife. Oh yeah, comes off pretty easy. Get this sucker out of the... Mm, look how shiny it is. And there is a big difference in weight as well. Perhaps uh, I can show you on the scale. Let's... Uh, <clears throat> little scale. So this is a scale. It should zero out. Can you see it here? Go. Yep. There you go. So this is yeah zeroed out and it can just go up to 250 grams. So I just put in this, uh, the old bridge. This one, the crusty, and it is, was it uh, 50 grams between 40 and, no, 
we are almost 50 grams. And so I'll take the, oops, okay, perhaps I can adjust the camera a bit more. Yep, here we go. And so we take the other zoom level and then put it in. And you can see, wow, this is heavy. This is heavy. This is 100 and almost 140 grams. So it's, um, yeah, it's almost three times, three times as heavy. That's a good thing. Heavy, heavy sound, heavy bridge, heavy sound. I hope so. I'm not quite sure. Is that true? Is the, do you think you can hear a difference when you use a heavier bridge from brass instead of aluminum? Oh, let's get rid of those little crusty stuff here as well. That's nasty shit, those chrome coming off the guitar. Okay, here we go. So, what should I do next? Uh, it's just um, take those screws here. Okay. I should insert them as well into the little adjustment screws here. You can see them. Perhaps I should check first where the old, how much the old were. Yeah, this, as you can see, and there are just a mil couple of millimeters out. So let's insert insert them. Wait, just put the guitar a bit back here. Oh no, let's screw in these screws first. I hope they go in as smooth. No, oh, no, it's, it's a different. No, 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 no. Is it a different, different diameter? I don't hope so. Should be the same. Perhaps I need just some little. Okay, perhaps I just need some little help from my WD-40. I'm not quite sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. Perhaps the, uh, the old, it's a bit crusty as well. So we just apply some WD-40. Can you see that? No, not yet. So here we go. We apply some of this. Hopala. And now we try to insert this into. Um, one thing I wanted to make sure is that we cover this uh, with a little bit of gaffer tape so that we do not ruin the new screws. So I would say we just put some gaffer tape around this screwdriver here. Perhaps it's a good idea to oh, yeah. <coughs> screw it in. Mm. Ah. It's quite tight. It's quite tight here because yeah, it's dirty. Because we, perhaps we have to clean it up first. Just use more of the WD-40 stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it. We try. We try. It's not gonna work. What's the issue here? What can we do? Just to make sure, we'll measure the diameter of this screws so that we don't have a different um, different diameter so let's check it up okay so this one is um, can you see that seven seven point seven and the old ones were hmm, actually they're off. No, well, tenth of a millimeter. I'm not quite sure if that's that's going to be a problem here. I can just 
and try with the old with the new no it should I think it's dirt related related to the dirt it doesn't go in as smoothly what's the difference will they still go inside there? Hmm. No, they go in smoothly. I don't know why. Is there a difference? Is there a difference in... Well, actually there is. So perhaps you can see that here. So this is a different type of what do you call it? how do you call it? Can you see the difference? So this goes smooth and the new ones. And the old ones do not go very smooth. Oh, is it, is it dirt? Is it the difference? Nope. Won't be able to get that into that thread. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what to do now. I have to, perhaps I have to consult the, the company. Hmm, this doesn't work. All right, too bad, too bad. So the question is, if the old screws aren't that that kind of trouble i'm not quite sure if i just could reuse them so it depends it depends is this just crusty or is it losing its chrome finish no it's not losing it's it's just crusty okay so Perhaps one idea here is to just reuse, but so it just was this bridge, but not the screws. We can reuse <coughs> the screw. So that's perhaps okay. Let's put them back in here. Perhaps we can um, talk to the company, nevertheless talk to the company but the screws are intact the screws are intact and with the new bridge and they would fit the bridge yeah they would definitely fit the bridge so then you could reuse the screws and we just do that <coughs> Lucky bastards, we are, don't you think? We are lucky bastards. No, there is no issue with the screws. So, as you can see, no issue with the screws. And so we lucky bastards just reuse the screws here. No worries, screw them in. They're not tight, that's good. So, and then we can put in those little adjustment screws here is it going to fit oh <laughs> there are already some in you see can you see huh they're just I already put some screws into so those are spare parts and then we go to perhaps I want to see check if this measures is it the same measure oh no this is, this is a bit bigger see that it's a bit, a bit bigger but I hope that it will fit into the yeah, it's, okay it will fit right into the 
stuff here and we have to adjust later adjust the the um, the height and for the correct intonation we have to adjust the, the screws we'll do that later but first of all we uh, we check we check what's more on my there you go we'll just uh, just check how fast all the screws out nope there we go Nine millimeters, nine point three, and then we will check if it's nine point three. It's a bit thicker. Okay, perhaps we don't have to. Have to thicker. Nine point three. Perhaps it's no. No use to. Ish. So we have to um, do the correct intonation thingy as well. We put it in here. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's most of the work which has to be, which can be done by now. So the thing is that we have to restring the guitar, but after that we can check the intonation. But I, I think I will do it in a different video. So stay tuned for another video, stay safe, stay home, bye. So this was another video from Precisimo Guitar. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more.